Hey guys, what's up? It's Cecily with Drive Girl Drive and I am now producing a weekly show here on the Ride Share Guys channel where we're going to be talking about Uber and Lyft news updates and things that you should know. A light overview of what's going on in ride share land. So stay tuned for this first episode. I'm excited about it too. I, I don't even know what's gonna happen next. I think the hottest news of this week is that Uber and Lyft are offering drivers an opportunity to participate in their IPOs. What does that mean for drivers? That means if you drive for Lyft and you have over 10,000 rides, you'll be given $1,000. If you have over 20,000 rides, you'll be given $10,000 that you can take away or money that you can invest. And as far as Uber goes, they're still mulling over the details of their cash program, but they say that it will be tiered as well. So if you are an OG and you've been doing this work and you have a bunch of rides under your belt you'll be able to benefit as well on the other side of this <laughs> the thing that I found to be interesting and which is characteristic of a lot of companies both of these companies are not profitable yet people are still willing to invest it'll be interesting to see how many people actually invest in a company or companies that aren't making any money, but we know that there's huge potential, obviously, because we all love Uber and Lyft for what they do. So we'll see, being that this is probably the future of transportation, if investing in one of these IPOs is a good idea. Our next story comes from a guy named George. He's a Seattle-based Uber driver who basically prints out menus asking people what kind of ride they want right so he has the stand-up ride he has the creepy ride he has the silent ride he basically uses this as a way to kind of diffuse those first awkward moments when someone gets in your car and you're like okay so what you want me to do you want me to be quiet you want to talk you want me to hug you like do you want me to be your psychiatrist i think that that's a great way to break the ice because when you're driving with people all day long although a lot of you guys are ogs and you guys have been doing this forever it's still kind of like all right, so what is the energy going to be? You know what I mean? And I think it's a fast and really cute and funny way to get to it. The other reason I really love this story, it's one of my favorite stories for this week, is because he's going above and beyond. And not everybody's going to do that. And he's being recognized for it. I've, I'm an avid user of rideshare as well. And when I see people doing things that other people don't do, I'm like, you know what? That's awesome. That's cool. And I like that you did that. And you're making someone's day just a little bit brighter when you do that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with going above and beyond if that's what you want to do. And if people decide to do that, then you're making the world a better place. Did I say that? <laughs> And on a more somber note, I wanted to update you guys that are following the case where the woman was struck by the uh, self-driving car in Arizona. It turns out Arizona says that Uber is not criminally liable for her death. However, the case is not completely closed and the driver or the person that was manning the car, Rafaela Vasquez, may be charged with manslaughter. Don't know the details of that yet, but it's interesting that Arizona has come out with this particular ruling and there will be more to come on this topic so we'll let you know what happens next and our final story this week this i found the most interesting there's the most unique things left in an uber okay and if you drive for uber or lyft you know that people leave some weird stuff in your car i wanted to actually read some stuff from this list because it was funny to me and i have to share this stuff word for word number one an eight week old coffee colored chihuahua okay a black faux fur neck cuff in a size large a photo of a new year's kiss that's not so bad six chicken tenders from 7-eleven that sounds like a gift a black and white tuxedo for a small dog because what else would a small dog wear a full set of 18 karat gold teeth because i wouldn't be caught dead without mine how about you a professional grade hula hoop which sounds like heaven and a salmon head which everyone should have uh there's 50 things on this list i'm going to include a link to this particular story and all the stories that i talked about 
today i've got a couple of favors to ask you first being the obvious if you like this video please give us a thumbs up we want to bring this information to you guys weekly and we need your input and engagement thank you so much the second thing being have you subscribed already if you haven't hit the red button subscribe to subscribe to the right share guys channel he was the guy that i followed when i first got in this and he remains to be the person that's the most thorough in this area and so definitely hit that button so that you can stay in tune with what's going on okay and the third thing being if you want to get to know me a little bit more you can find my link inside of the description my name is cecily jamella this is drive girl drive and i got one more thing just one more hold up one more thing we want to bring this information to you the driving community so if you come across any information tips news best best practices things like that please share that with us we know that a lot of the great things that happen to us and for us are not in mainstream media and so this is a platform where we can share those things so feel free to message harry myself and let us know what's going on and you may find that content on this channel next week you never know i hope you guys have a great weekend be safe and talk to you soon bye